Udio is back with a new update for standard and pro users in order to stay competitive with Suno. They are calling it Sessions, which provides DAW-like functionality similar to audio software tools like Audacity. Let me show you how to use Sessions so you can edit your Udio songs like a pro. After logging in, there are four different ways to access Sessions. The first one is the big banner on the home page. This lets you jump right back into your last session. The next methods are in the library. Find a song you want to edit, hover your mouse over the song, and a number of options will come up, one of them being Sessions. The next method is clicking the three dots, hovering over Create, and then you have a Start Session button. You can also click on the title of a song, which will bring you to another screen, and then you will have a Start Session button as well. <laughs> so as you can see, Udio is very excited about Sessions, and they want it in as many places as possible to make sure that you can use it to your full abilities. After clicking Start Session, you're brought to another page. If you're a Suno user, this will be very familiar to you because Suno brought this kind of functionality first to its song editor. Throughout this video, I will share keyboard shortcuts for faster navigation. Hitting the space bar on your computer starts or stops the song from playing. In the haze of the neon lights, echoes whisper the secrets of the night. To get back to the beginning of the song, hold down the shift key hit return or enter. The song labels are auto-generated and they can be toggled on and off by clicking this icon at the top or just by hitting the S button on your keyboard. And of course, if your song has lyrics, there's this book icon which you can toggle on and off the lyrics or just simply by clicking the L button on your keyboard. More on how to edit lyrics in a moment. Down at the bottom, there's a row of buttons. Takes allows you to regenerate alternative versions of a song section. Extension is self-explanatory. The replace feature functions the same way as the replace section in Suno. You would use this option to replace sections of a song. To get into immediately extending a clip, you could click the extend button, which is E on your keyboard, but you can also use these arrows at the end of a song or at the beginning of a song. So if you click on one of them, this will bring up more options. From left to right, you have the original prompt that you had used, and then you have the different genres of music. You can use a style reference with uploaded audio to make adjustments to the way that the song sounds. Then there's a lyrics portion where if you want Udio to auto-generate the lyrics, you can leave it at the default. You can do custom, which brings up the lyrics pane and you can add your lyrics. Again, more on that in a moment. And then if you wanted to have the extension just as an instrumental, you could select that option. Now let's say maybe you made a mistake on where you want the extension to start or begin. There's another portion here at the bottom which is extension placement. So if I click on intro, it'll swap it to the intro. If I click outro, it'll swap it back. And then for a section, you'll have to get more granular where in the middle of the song you want that extension to be. And Udio does have advanced options and there's a toggle here if you toggle this on or off. This will bring up things such as style reduction, and then there's a small arrow here at the bottom right where you can cycle through. And then you have you things like your prompt strength, the generation quality, and which model you want it to use. All of these things are available to you if you need them. Once you've made your adjustments, click the Extend button. You will get two alternative versions which look like these gray pill type shapes. The cool thing is with these different alternative takes, you can switch through them seamlessly real time. As the color through the kaleidoscope, busy where the wild Through the kaleidoscope So there's no waiting to actually have the portion of that clip load up in order for you to swap back and forth so you can listen to how the sound fits into your song. If you're not satisfied with either clip, you can click on the takes button and this will highlight the portion of the song and you can make your adjustments and click on Regenerate Takes. The cool thing is you can just keep clicking Generate Takes and you'll notice here there's a, a number of options that are being loaded simultaneously. And I've got about six additional takes that are gonna be generated that I can play with. Now in contrast to Suno, they are charging 10 credits per regeneration or extension. So the fact that Udio is allowing unlimited generations for free is already making it stand out and I can just freely click on any one of them I wish. So I've got eight different takes that I can use and update my song accordingly. Now, if you like a specific take, you can give it a thumbs up 
and this will add it to a sessions section in your library. It might be hidden in your library, but later on in the video, I'll show you how to unhide these liked takes so that you can view them very easily. And if you don't like a take, you can give it a thumbs down and what'll happen is Udio will archive it. Up in the top left, there is a history section or click H on your keyboard. What history does is it catalogs all of your edits, which you can then highlight and immediately jump to. Now, one neat feature is you can also save a version. So what this means is let's say you have a specific edit that you really, really like. Saving this serves as a saved checkpoint where you can continue the editing process and it will clear out the remaining previous edits that you made. To replace a section of a song, you can move your cursor anywhere on the screen and you can also click on the replace button, which is R. You can hold down until you see the hand and then you can glide and move the area to where you want it to be. And then you can also grab the vertical cursors and move them along. Just keep in mind that when you're using the replace section, it only replaces 32 second block of time per replacement. But as adjustments are being made, you'll notice on the right hand side that some of the lyrics are being highlighted in red. What this means is the lyrics that are being highlighted are actually lyrics you can make manual edits to. If you don't see all of the lyrics that you want to replace highlighted in red, you can zoom in or out using the plus or minus on your keyboard. This way it allows you to get as precise as possible so you can make sure that only the portion of the lyrics that you want to edit are available. To get the best results when manually editing lyrics, Udio recommends you try to mimic the same syllables that are being sung, or at least swap in the same amount of words. For example, if the lyrics you're trying to change have about 10 words total in that highlighted red area, try to keep the same amount of words. Once you make your edits, click the replace button. Now another way to use the replace feature is maybe you have an existing song, but you don't want to change the lyrics. Possibly when you're listening to the song, that certain part doesn't sound like it's being sung properly, or maybe the lyrics are being garbled or it doesn't sound right. Simply highlight the area that you want to change and then leave the lyrics alone and just click the replace button. What this will do is this will prompt Udio to start now regenerating new versions of that particular section until it gets it right and to your liking. And if you want to undo anything, you can click the undo button, which for Mac is command Z and redo is command shift Z. I would imagine it's very similar on a Windows PC, or you can click these buttons accordingly. If you want to download your completed song, you click the download button and then you choose your specific format. You can again get stems here and a few other options and then click download. You can head back to your library in the top left corner by clicking this U button and this will bring you back to the main page. So earlier I was talking about that anytime you make any edits there is a sessions folder that gets added to your library and then if you click into it any other edits that you're making on other songs will have a subfolder automatically created where edits are being placed so this is where you can find them in the future i've noticed that sometimes this folder section is hidden so if you come here and you don't see it there is an arrow in, on the far right where you can hide folders so just simply click on it until you can actually see your folders and it's not hidden anymore whether you are new to AI song creation or you're an expert and you want to significantly enhance your AI song creating skills in tools like Suno and Udio, I posted a link to an AI song creation system which will help you improve your song creating skills tenfold. This guide goes beyond the scope of what I share in my videos. Click the link below posted in the video description.